So, Jason, on uh, Wednesday, you came in here and you told us that you were hoping that Saturday we would see a little bit, uh, a little bit better showing out of the offense. I'm guessing you feel uh, feel pretty good about that. Yeah, you know, I, we we made it very clear to our players that we wanted to get back to the basics and establish a foundation. Uh, I think we did that very well Wednesday night uh, by not allowing that team to score against us and then put it all together tonight. So I feel like we've moved a step in the right direction. In the first 60 minutes, do you think there was still some, maybe some of that angst in your strikers and then did Sabo just kind of raise it with one header? Yeah, I really felt like uh, there was just a lot of angst, not just by the forwards, but everybody on our team about when we got into really dangerous positions. It seemed like everybody just kind of got a little too nervous. Uh, and we know, it's been a while since we've scored, we know. We know that we've been hard done in a couple of games here at home, so we wanted to set things straight. And that was one of my biggest messages at halftime: is we just let's just relax a little bit. Let's keep working really hard to get to the to get to the attacking third. I thought we were doing a great job of getting there, but when we get there, let's relax a little bit. Yeah, to continuing on that, I guess, Jason, could you sense that once uh, Salvo scored the first goal, that more was coming? Yeah, yeah, for sure. The way the momentum of that game was going, you always feel like if there's one goal, there's going to be two or three. You know, truthfully, that was the same against San Jose. The difference was that, that we got scored on first. So that, that meant that we had to come back and then we were you know, clutching to try to win the game rather than just to draw it, as some, some teams may do. So um, this one, I was really pleased that we kept a, a zero, we kept things tight, tidy. And then once we got our first goal, I knew that things would open up. Maybe elaborate a little bit on Sabario and really that last half hour took well, actually 14 minutes. I think he scored those three goals. Yeah, um, the first one was really special, wasn't it? I mean, geez, the way he got up and, and headed it across the goal, the whole, the whole face of the goal, and it's the post and goes in. Um, really, really special. And I just thought, you know, he's a guy for me that, that uh, there's just been a lot of injustices lately. Um, with the goals that have been called back against him that he scored, that we review again and say those are fair goals. So I'm really, really pleased that, that now he scores three and perhaps we can all feel better about where he stands and where we stand. Jason, it, it got a moment of ugliness there. you think it was the team finally fed up with opponents hacking at Javi as much as they are? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I think that any time you're beating somebody 3-0, um, there's going to be some some retribution, there's going to be some physical challenges. You have to be very smart to try to stay out of those challenges. You have to be smart not to get yourself injured. You have to be very smart not to react. Um, for the most part, I thought we did a really nice job of that. I'm also, I'll be honest, I'm pleased that we had a reaction that said enough's enough. And there was the scuffle of our guys came, and they came for a purpose, and that was to protect on the air. What happened to Ned specifically? He went on the challenge that he went down. Not sure who the challenge is with there in the first half where they both kind of slid in together. He took a real bad bruise on one leg, but actually wobbled his other knee. Uh, and so we're very concerned about that. I, I believe it's the same knee that he's had uh, some knee pro some problems with here not so long ago. So um, I feel really badly for him because he's a player that was just coming back off of injury. We were very happy to get him back in, and you now it looks like he's headed back to the treatment table. <coughs> The Homison substitution, was that injury related or was yeah, it? Yeah, it was precautionary. I started seeing him stretching it a little bit. You ask a guy like that, you're okay, and he'll always tell you a hundred times out of a hundred, oh yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then you watch him and you're like, he's not fine, let's get him out and protect him for the next game. Along those lines, uh, you brought in Juan Figley tonight. How did you think he played in that 30 or so minutes he was out there? He played pretty well. Uh, his first two touches were a little suspect. <laughs> he got into immediately into a place where I thought he could deliver a better ball. But that's going to happen. Uh, and then down in the left channel, they made, a, I think, a little bit of a poor decision. But as the game went on, and he got more and more minutes, at least, it gives us a little bit something different, which I, I quite like. Anything else for Jason? Yeah, Jason, what are you most happy with? The, the hat trick, the clean sheet on defense, or forget the score, you're just happy that you got the win at three points? <laughs> at the moment, uh, it's just the win, period, the end. I can breathe again. Jason, was this one of those matches you wanted, one where you could kind of relax? Did you get to relax the last 15 minutes of this one? Yeah, I did. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had one of those at home. We had one away against the U.S., but we haven't had one at home. And typically, we have five of those a year, so we would do, I think. 
Anything else?